In 1947, an occupational health disorder mainly affecting the respiratory system was first reported among the coral gold miners of Mysore, India. This was later termed as silicosis. Hello, welcome back to Stephi here. In this video, we'll see about silicosis, which is the major cause of permanent disability and mortality among the people associated with sand work. Silicosis is caused due to the inhalation of dust containing free silica or silicon dioxide. And this depends upon the chemical composition of the dust, duration of exposure. The longer the exposure is, the more severe the disease will be. The size of the particles. Particles between 0.5 to 3 microns are more dangerous because they reach the interior of the lungs and can cause more severe damage. This also depends upon the individual susceptibility of the person. The major risk groups include the people associated with mining industries, Coal, mica, gold, silver, lead, zinc, and manganese, and other heavy metals, pottery and ceramic industries, sand plasting, metal grinding, building and construction works, rock mining, iron and steel industry, and several others are also at high risk for silicosis. The incubation period of silicosis may vary from few months to six years of exposure based on the amount of silica that a person is exposed to. The pathology is as follows. The silica particles which enters the lungs during respiration are engulfed by the phagocytes. And these engulfed phagocytes accumulates and blocks the lymphatic channels of the lungs. Later, it forms into dense nodular fibrosis with each nodules ranging between 3 to 4 millimeters are formed in the lungs. On the X-ray of the lungs, snowstorm appearance is formed, is seen due to this accumulation of nodular particles. The clinical features include the early manifestations such as irritant cough, dyspnea on exertion, pain in the chest. Later, there might be impairment of the total lung capacity and the silicotics are prone to pulmonary tuberculosis which is called as silicotuberculosis. Now it's question for prevention of silicosis. As you all know, silicosis is a very important and dangerous disorder which can slowly but definitely kill a person. It's very important for dust control measures among the workers associated with these fields. This can be achieved by substitution of silica by some other particles which are less dangerous. Isolation, good housekeeping and maintenance for the workers and providing personal protective measures. Regular physical examination of workers are very important for the screening of silicosis. Thus, in this video, we saw about silicosis, which is very severe and can cause permanent disability and mortality, but can be effectively prevented. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos.